Welcome back to Consultant's Corner. I'm Rebecca Britzi. This is my corner. I am a consultant. And today we're singing the praises of quitting, knowing when to quit and to move on. We grow up being told that quitters never win. And yet, if you ask any ex-smoker, they may disagree with that. Perseverance. Stick with itness, never giving up, never letting go. Good traits in the right context. Sometimes quitting is the correct action. It's important to know when it's time to let something go and move that attention and energy onto something else that is more fruitful. And the key is that analysis. What is the return on my efforts here? What is the more fruitful thing? Will shifting my energy and attention to this other thing put me in a better place than I am right now? It's not about getting bored. It's not about no longer wanting to work as hard. It's about knowing what brings you return, knowing what is going to make you happy, is going to make you successful, and is generally going to drive you towards the results that you want to see. The catch? Those results change too. Don't do a thing and continue to do the thing just because you started the thing. Learn about the sunk costs fallacy. Don't let that be your motivation to continue doing things. So yes, quitters often win when they know what to quit when they're quitting the right things. Just because you made a decision at some point about this path doesn't mean that you have to carry it through when everything else around it is telling you that this is the wrong path. You are allowed to change your mind. You are allowed to have a new opinion. You are allowed to gain new knowledge and let that affect your decisions. You're allowed to simply want something new. Should you keep doing something from which you have nothing to gain, just because you started doing the thing? Should you keep doing something in which at this point you have little chance of success when you could actually be successful in other areas and achieve accomplishments that you want? Should you keep doing something just because you started it even if you are no longer interested in the results? The answer is no every time. We are complex beings who want to be constantly learning and constantly growing and that does mean constantly changing. Quit the things that don't bring you return Quit the things that don't bring you where you want to be. Persevere on the things that are driving you forward, that are making you better and making you more successful. Those things might change from period to period. The important thing is to recognize where you're getting return, where you're getting results, and what results you want to be getting. So your homework is to find the ex-smoker in your life and talk to them about the benefits and the challenges of quitting. But of all the things you can quit, do not quit this channel because I too am constantly learning and growing and adapting. So you'll always find new information here and I will see you at the next one. Bye now.